Alright, hello, hello! Welcome back for another video, and today we'll be doing some Fusion 360, which, um, if you've seen my Tinkercad video, or, um, you've seen some other things with 3D modeling, Fusion 360 would be the next step, technically. It is, a, a larger learning curve, um, but it has lots more advanced things. So today we'll just be, um... Uh, it's not going to be a tutorial, um, but if you guys do want a tutorial, I could make one. Even though I'm not that great at making 3D modeling tutorials. But, I can use this. Um, so, today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be building a super awesome plane that I can 3D print. And as you can hear, 3D printers running in the background. Very loud. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry about that. But anyway, let's get right into this. So, um, yeah, let's just get started. Um, I probably should have Chrome open, but I don't, so, eh. Alright, we'll start by w making the wings. So, we'll do it on this side. Alright, so for the wings, we want it to be, uh, not a, t like a small, like a medium-ish size, like, plain. Not necessarily with RC, we can consider motors later, but like, at the very least, I want it to fly. I have no experience in aerodynamics, so if any of, uh, of the people watching this video, if any of you know how to do aerodynamic things, um, please tell me, because I have no clue, so just kind of going off whatever looks good right now. Um, one thing to note, though, is I am just like, this, again, Probably should have stated this at the start of the video. This isn't a Minecraft video. It's an engineering video. Because that's... My channel does everything, right? I do engineering, gaming, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so... We're going to want um, to start for these wings. So we're going to want a circle. And I'd say... This would be the... Um, I don't know if I can pull up a photo. But I just, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So, um, I think 15, no, I think about one centimeter would be good for this. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good. So, 10 millimeters here. And now we're just going to use a fit point spline after we, um, all right, how long do we want this wing to be? Okay, this is not the actual length of the wing. So what we're doing right now is we're creating the width of it, if you know what I mean. So like, you have the wing on a plane, right? Um, uh, I should probably escape right now. Um, all right, uh-oh, what did I do? All right, there we go, there we go. So you have the wing of a plane, okay? Um, and this part is just going to be like the side, and we're going to extrude it that way. Okay, I'll show. I'll just show you. All right. Again, kind of difficult to explain without photos. I don't want to open Chrome because it's going to lag my computer up a little bit. So, yeah. Um, all right. So I think the wing width, not width. Yeah, width. I mean, kind. No, uh, I don't know how to explain this. Wing length. I don't know. No, it's wing width. Yeah. Um, I think about three centimeters, so, um, we'll do 40 here since we're already, well actually it'd be 35 if we just wanted 30, but I'll do 45, an extra 10, so it's at, alright, yeah, that looks probably good. <laughs> Um, alright, so we have the construction line now. I'm going to turn that back off with X. That's cool. Hotkey you can use. Um, and, oops. Alright. And we're just going to do this to mark those top points so it's not freeform. And then we're going to go one above this. Turn off construction mode. That was an accident. And then we're going to go like this. Um, actually, I'll just go by construction 
Let me turn this off. I'll just go by construction lines to see what looks the best. <laughs> Again, I have no clue how to do aerodynamic things. Um, so that's what one one, I mean, one of them looks like. Then we could go one above. And complete that. Or we could go one below. Well, it doesn't seem like it wants me to do this. Um, there we go. I think one up. There we go. I know this is inefficient, but like, <sighs> I don't know all the hotkeys, so we're just doing whatever, I guess. All right, so we have three different positions for these. I highly doubt that I'll be doing the flat one. Um, so we can just delete that real quick. All right, escape. So this is the middle one. So we can either have it like this or like this. I'm not sure, honestly. Wait. Which one do we choose? Which looks better? <laughs> um, I think, no. Wait, let me look up an image. I know, I'm opening Chrome. The lag's about to be real. Um, but let's just check. I just want to see what's up with this. Ba -da -da -ba -boop -da -ba. Awesome singing noises while I open Chrome. Ba -do -ba -boo -ba -boo -ba. Um, let's see here. Alrighty. I don't know a lot about planes. Have some basic understandings of thrust and stuff. No clue how to do aerodynamics or what things are called even <laughs> airfoils images airfoil theory uh oh this sounds too smart <laughs> too smart um let's do another spline here spline like this and we're gonna go um um let's see here all right, I see an image of a wing here. And we want it to go um, We want it to go like right there. So This might not be the right tool to do this. I mean, one moment. I think we might want to make this circle an oval. See, I'm really just going into this, like, completely, um, completely no clue. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right, the the most popular design that I see here. All right, let's see if we can make this. All right, circle gone. Um, I bet you could probably do this with a conic curve or something. Let's do that with a conic curve. Why not? Um, forgot how to use it though. All right, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, it's not that, oh, why did I close Chrome? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Back open. Alright, I'll be modeling it. Um, I think today, maybe we'll just make the wings and stuff. Um, maybe we can finish the plane, but that'll be like an hour-long video. So, 
if you want to do that. I mean, there's no one in, there's, I don't, I'm not live streaming. So, like, <sighs> no one's going to tell me what to do. So, I guess I'll just decide something. <laughs> um, we want it to be like this, almost. Yeah, no. I don't know how to get that shape. All right. Let's try to so do something else. Um, ellipse, perhaps? Forgot how these worked. Oh. Um, no. <laughs> Alright. Um. Let's see what we got here. Tools. Tools. Um, maybe it's best that we work this out first. Um, Alright, so I'll do a spline from here. Down to here. Down to here. Um, wait, no. I'll do a spline down to here. And there and then let's not do anything else with that all right I think I'll delete these ones for now well, we'll be able to just make a new one <laughs> um, again I just don't feel like that looks right it might be perfect but I wouldn't know <laughs> um, that's that's okay See, the thing is that we need, we need it to go up a little bit. Like that. And then, from there, you want it to go down. But not that much down. Um, alright, let's get some measurements in here. So I think that's like a fifth, no, two, like a fourth of the way-ish. So if this is, what is this again, 95 95 millimeters? Did I tap that right? Wait. Hold up. I'm showing you all the tools. Isn't this so fun? Like, watch me struggle <laughs> at Fusion 360. So, um, that'd be 11.25. I'll just go to 12 millimeters in then. Um, 12, alright, so, um, alright, time for splining, oh, that looks actually really good, turning off the construction mode with how good this looks, and then it immediately fails right there, I think I'll just end it there. And then, just do another spline, because I don't want it to affect everything else. There we go. Making sure I got the right point. Cha-ching! How's that look? Um, right, I'm going to move this up a little bit. No, that was correct. Okay, yeah, now I'm just messing things up. Um, alrighty, alrighty. I think I know what to do now. How long have we been struggling for? 14 minutes of me struggling to even start the wing. This is truly what designing is like. I'll just close this up real quick. There we go, now we can see so much more. Um, <laughs> and then, no, all right, I think that's good, all right, we have, the top part of the wing now. Now we just want to do 
we want it to keep on that trajectory. If you know what I mean? Like, this way. Yep, I don't know what's happening. Conic curve. Um, let's do it right there. I'm usually against conic curves. Um, just, I mean, almost always against just random placement. Actually, yeah, let's just see if we can get a good placement zone. Alrighty. Conic curve time again. Looks better. And then we'll do 0 0.5. Beautiful. I mean, that's actually legitimately not horrible. <laughs> And then can we go between those? Oops. Does that work? No. Um, alrighty. Also, remember, save your designs, everyone. Um, we'll call this Project Plane 1. We can build everything here. <laughs> Um, we're making progress, people. <laughs> um, Alrighty, so what I'm gonna see if I can do. Let's find the right. Um, Right position. I'll move that here. Oh, why is it off centered like that? Um, no, seriously. <gasps> oh, there we go. Fix the problem. No problemo. <laughs> That's why we couldn't use that point there. And then another conic curve for the win. Zero point six. Okay, that actually looks good. I think we did well for this airfoil or whatever you call it. This looks nice. Okay. We are going to finish the sketch, and we press something called E for extrude. So this basically extends it outwards. So this is what our wing's going to look like. So you print this out. Um, how long do we want the wingspans to be? I mean, all right. We got to think. Honestly, no clue if it'll work. Maybe if we strap enough <laughs> powerful engines, it'll work. Add enough motors onto it or something slap a rocket engine on it <laughs> um but in all seriousness um i think we'll want the wingspan to be maybe 30 centimeters no a little bit longer than that i think we want each wing to be like 20 centimeters that looks good yeah 20 centimeters for each wing sounds great all right, we'll do 20 centimeters for each wing. Um, cause I don't know. <laughs> um, 
So this is how far each wing will extend outwards. And then we'll have um, 20 centimeters and then um, an extra half centimeter to end this off here. So now our next task, we have one centimeter. So we're gonna do something called construct. We're gonna construct something off this plane and we're gonna do 10 since we want one centimeter, 10 millimeters. Um, metric system, pretty good. Um, all right, so what we wanna do now is we want to construct something that will end the swing off. So that could be anything that we want, like a rough outline almost of this. Um, for example, I mean, this doesn't need to be final, but we could create like a circle, I don't know, a little spline thing or whatever in that circle. And sure, like that, right? And then we're gonna uh, do something called um, where is it here? Loft feature. Um, sorry, I have no clue. Um, just a minute. <laughs> Modify. All right, let me think for a moment. It's probably like right where my mouse cursor is. I'm not looking. You're all yelling at the screen. All right, it's on the other tab now. Now I remember. Okay, we're gonna do something called loft. And we're going to bring it between this and we're gonna join this and we're gonna do rails and this. So this is what we're doing right now. We're doing this like cutoff zone. And if we click okay here, and then what we do is we would modify this. Maybe it's in the create tab again. We have to do this one by one, I think. Or no, we don't, probably not. Probably, maybe, maybe not. Um, where is it? Filet or F. And what we're gonna do is just make this like smooth, smoothened. Okay, wait. Feel the lag, feel the lag. I don't know why it's doing that. Five, two, three, two. <laughs> Three point five. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful, right? I mean, not really, but like, we're gonna add a wingtip right there. All right. <laughs> now I just have to figure out what wingtips look like. Cause it's not just like a flat part. It's like a. It ends into a little tiny point zone. So, this isn't a very good example. So let's get back to the signing phase now. All right. So we have our super awesome plane. Um, it's gonna be a straight wing. Um, plane. Bazonkers. Um, <laughs> let's see. All right, I have a photo now. Um, kind of ends off into like a line thing, like this, on this photo. We can't actually do, I mean, sorry, we can do this, I'm pretty sure, 90% sure, 80% sure, maybe not percent sure, <laughs> not sure. Not, no, no we cannot. Sorry, I just told you horrible information that you can never use. Um, <laughs> it doesn't go all the way to that side, but it does go to the back end zone. So like right there on the corner. And we want it to stop off kind of in the middle, so it's like pulling backwards. And then that should be good. More splines, dude, this is so awesome. Like that. Ka-ching, ka-ching, finished sketch. 
create a new um, loft. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Um, what did I just do? <laughs> Why is it doing that? Um, maybe, maybe not that, that type of, et wait, it, hold up, hold up, cancel, cancel, control Z, what happened, uh, just scooch that over here, that'll surely work, there's no way that anything bad could occur from trying to do this, surely. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait. I'm gonna move it over a little bit more. No, 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 it's fine. That'll work. All right, create, not create a hole. I've never created a form. I'm gonna add revolve, <laughs> I mean loft to this. Never mind. I'll do it later. Look up a YouTube tutorial or something. Not gonna lie, doesn't look horrible, I don't think. No, it does. What is happening? <laughs> Anyone know what's happening to my Fusion 360 educational license? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, can I just like, what? What's, what's it doing? At that edge. Oh, I know. I have no clue what it's doing. Budging? Wait, let's see if we can add this to that, um, to the toolbar. Let's go! Okay, this will be, like, so much faster now. Didn't even have to watch that YouTube tutorial or anything. So simple. What's it doing? No clue. What am I changing? What am I changing here? <laughs> Cancel. Um, alrighty. Just gonna scooch it. Scooch it over a little bit. There we go. I'm sure this will work. I mean, what's it doing again? Any folks at Fusion know what this what this means for the reality of time and space? Okay. Am I allowed to do that? I don't really have a grid system or anything, so okay. I have no clue what's happening over here with the faces. Um, you know what? Why not? Let's just uh, do it like it was before. It looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, look how awesome that looks, right? <laughs> Hopefully it looks cool when it's done printing too. I mean, I. I'm gonna print it later. So, um, <laughs> uh, play. Oops. Select everything up, play it. Fish fillet. Ooh, that looked really good. Wait, what did I have it at? That's very fishy, that filet. Two? <gasps> Ooh. 
Look at that wing structure. <laughs> Not gonna lie, looks good, done. Bang, we made our first wing. Um, this is gonna be so awesome when we have a plane. Speaking of plane, we need another wing. Copy, control V. Um, so we have a, an issue. Gotta do that again. Um, control Z, control Z, control Z. Um. Um. Ah, 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 220 centimeters. So, those are some pretty big wings. If I'm gonna be honest. Um, so the fuselage, I think, should be. Um, if it's at 20. Um, I think the fuselage could be five centimeters, maybe, in diameter. Maybe 7.5. Yeah, sure. 7.5 centimeters. Um, aka, um, um, 3.75 centimeters. I mean, so 37.5 millimeters from each wing. So if this is 200, we gotta just extrude this again. Well, no. I want to print out, yeah, okay, okay. I'll show you what happens. No, okay, wait. We'll have the wings just be this, and then we'll have like an indent thing where we can put stick uh, glue onto the main thing. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Um, no, I did not. Okay, maybe I did select that. Escape. All right. What is happening? Did I select this? I don't remember. Diggity doggity doog. Just delete sketch too. We don't need it anymore. All right. Um, we're gonna extend this out another two hundred. Yeah. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a new body like that. So now we actually have two different wing parts here. So we can extend like this one. We can move this out like um, how much do we want the fuselage again to be? We'll have like a five centimeter fuselage, I think. Maybe, less, yeah. Five centimeters, four centimeters. Four centimeters looks good. So we'll extend this out 20 millimeters. Oh, negative 20 millimeters, I mean. And this one, we can move out just normal 20 millimeters. Um, oops, what did I do? Um, oops. Oopsie daisy. 20. Alright, so this is where the fuselage will be. That's how big it is. Pretty big wings for a tiny fuselage like that. But then we can print out each wing individually. Um, we don't, I don't want to, I feel like that end part, I don't know how to make it and it feels like it's just makes everything look like worse. So I'm not sure exactly what I'll do. Um, so, alrighty. We're gonna finish these wings today for sure. Um, but this might be just the first video of many. Um, <laughs> pretty good time to make this wing mountage. Don't even know how the plane's gonna fly. And if, again, if you know aerodynamics, please tell me so I know where to like, cause even though these wings might not be good, 
They look kind of cool, though. Um, I do still want this kind of to fly, so maybe tell me, like, possible lengths of the fuselage, maybe the diameter of it or something, and maybe where to put the wings on that fuselage. So, yeah, um, let's just finish this off, and then we'll end the video for today. Um, alright, so... Let's see. Ellipse. I think we just have to like copy everything and then just make it kind of downsized almost. Just the problem is I just don't know how how I made this. <laughs> um, so that'll be a little bit difficult. We'll move like one down. And one back. Oof. And then we, I think I said this to like 0 0.5, right? Um, it's fine. It doesn't have to be exact. Just like a general rough draft thing. We'll just extend it like that. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, we'll just extend it like that. That looks pretty good. Um, and then we just can work on this real quick. As you can see, it's, um, a little bit angled weirdly. So make sure that that's there, and then we'll just make the conic curve now. Down there. That looks good, yeah. All right, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is finish that sketch up. And we'll want to copy this to the other side too. Oh, did I just make it on there? Yeah, I did. Forgot that I moved it over 20 millimeters. So um, we'll construct a new layer off of, all right, first we're gonna hide the sketch and we're gonna construct a new layer um, again, we're gonna want to construct these about a centimeter off, um, for that wing tip. Actually, let's do 15. So 1.5 centimeters off each end. Uh, 15. So that looks nice. Um, alrighty. So the next thing we need to do, take the sketch here, um, line it, I guess. I don't know. Let's take the sketch, and then we're just going to um, copy these parts here. Copy, 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 copy. And we're just going to be done. Finish sketch. And then we're going to actually make another sketch on this one here. And we're just going to paste. Can you do that? No? Really? No pasting allowed here? We'll just... Um, darn. Copy and pasting sketches doesn't exist, I guess. Wait. Oh, there. There we go. That worked. And then we can just position it with this other sketch. How's that look? A little bit higher. Um, let's see, wait, no, that'll be fine, there we go, okay, okay, that, and then we're gonna create a loft, as usual, 
Wait, finish sketch first. So I'll create a loft as usual. <laughs> um, hide that sketch, turn this one back on. And extrude between those and join them together. And then after we do that, we're gonna just, um, I don't know, we should do filet or chamfer. Um, let's try filet first since that usually yields better results, at least from what I usually do. Then we'll see what chamfer looks like. Um, let's just do one. Let's try 1.5 first. Um, we can do 1.5, okay? 1.5 on the filet, and then we'll just try it as well. Um, chamfer. like that. Um, we'll have to side with the fillet since I think that might be more aerodynamic or whatever. <laughs> Alright, and we'll just do 1.5 millimeters. There we go. And then we're just going to copy this thing over to this side. So now we're going to make a sketch on this side, escape, paste it, um, flip it over, oh my gosh, it's having a heart attack, uh -huh. yeah, what's happening, dude, <laughs> um, Let's rotate it the other way, 180, and then flip it over. I don't know what happened to that conic curve, so we'll just delete that in a minute. Um. Um, let's just like delete sketch five for a minute. All right, and then let's go to sketch four. Just want to double check sketch four is that one? Yep. Um, we'll go to the left side. Slow process of design, I guess. And um, we'll create a line on plane two. No, plane three. Plane, not plane. As in plane, but not the plane. <laughs> um, so we can just actually re-go over this again. I know I could do some weird copying trick thing. Tell me in the description if you know how to do that. But, eh. I have time on my hands. <laughs> A lot of time on my hands and then we'll just um, make a kind of curve okay point five complete the sketch create a loft join them and finish this off we'll just uh, get all the edges S. and 
and 1.5. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, cancel. Um, did I do something wrong? Wait, this doesn't look right. Hold up, is this what the other one looks like? I hope not. Darn, navigating around in Fusion 360. Um, yeah, no, something's wrong. <laughs> I must have messed up somewhere. Yeah, what's happening there? Uh, does that, does that work? Um, okay. Do those wings, are they the same? Um, let's just lock, or fillet it first. It is difficult to move around, I must say. I mean, the camera. Alright, how do those look? Top view. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> panicking, I'm panicking. <laughs> um, there's a big problem here. Um, what should I do? <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, all right, I don't want to restart this, have no clue what's going on, um, oh, we just got a print finished, in another 15 minutes, I'll be able to start printing this, so let's hope we can get this done, I'll load it up and insert the print in. Maybe I'll add some video footage of me starting the print in. Oh no. <laughs> um. All right, so I just had a printer accident. So my brain, so I just printed um, the Ender 3, um, a little cover for the, um, whatchamacallit, the control potentiometer, a knob for it, a new knob. Um, forgot to add the clippers, uh, not the clippers, uh, whatchamacallum, whatchamacallum, um, the, uh, very very good important uh binder clips onto the sides i have a very interesting photo that i'll show on screen right now of what happened <laughs> um it not that great um so i'm not sure what i should do let me take a photo failed miserably that print but it's okay <laughs> uh, um we'll work something out probably at some point see these are exactly the same right all right they're exactly the same okay 
So finish the sketch. Add the bodies on, right? Then I just do a loft, like normal, between these two, right? I join them together. And then I fillet it. Fillet a fish. But did I fillet that last time? If I try to do 1.5, it fails. Um, um, I'll turn off that sketch. What did I fillet before? Probably not that. So, um, I go to this other side, right? Left. The left side. Um, let's try to fillet this again. Alright? Um, ignoring that piece, because I probably forgot it, you know? Did I have this piece? What piece did I choose? 1.5? No. All right. Um. Lay. One point five. One. Zero point five. Lay. One point five? No. This doesn't want to work. Um, alright, I think I'll just go to filleting the entire face next time instead. Um, so I'll do one point five. One point five. Oh point seven five. Point five six five okay, it just doesn't want to go over that. Oh point five then I guess. How does this look though? No. Ugh, I hate this view. <laughs> Orbit this. Show me what's happening. Why does it do that? Ugh. Why is it lofting like that? Is that what I did last time? I don't remember, though. Okay. No. Air. Okay. Should I do that with the other one too? Alright, I'll delete the loft on the other one. This orbit viewer. It's pretty nice. Um. Delete the loft. Parted zone. Okay, now we're gonna re loft this from here to here, right? Oh, and it has that just like auto, like that, I guess, or something. Yeah, okay, so I set that down there. And, um, okay. Belay the entire thing. 0.5. Um,. You got that weird part there. Sure, it'll be fine. <laughs> Slicer will figure it out for me. That's what I like to say. And then we're going to orbit view here. Alrighty. And we're, gonna, we're just going to fillet this side. 0.5. And they should be the same. Same exact thing. Alright, time for inspection. They look good. They look good. Um, front and in back inspection. Um, I should... Eh. I'm too lazy. Or 
All right, they both look good. Um, front inspection now. Technically, this is the back of the airfoil, but Fusion 360 doesn't want you to think that. There we go. We're up right now. Okay, something's a little bit off here. That one looks like that. And that one looks like that. Something's not right. Ugh. <laughs> Save. Um. Darn. Darn it. Um. Alright. Um. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Darn it. Big darn. <laughs> Um, um, it's the problem with these lofts. They're like the sketches, everything else works fine, except for the loft. All right, we're going to loft this from there to there. Join. If this don't work, I'm gonna be clueless. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Front. Left. How? How do you... Okay. Control V, Control V. So I go to the right side. Watch this, okay? Four points like that. We got the four points like that. Now one little white point for the conic curve. Exactly the same, okay? They're literally the same wing part too, so no lie in there. All right, it's like a V shape there, and then those connect there, all right? And then we're gonna go to this side, right? The left side. Um, we're gonna extend it that way. And then something weird happens. You see this? What's happening? So let's make it like that. And I have no clue, why is it like this? <laughs> Why is the V thing over here? <laughs> Where's the other part of the V zone? It's not there. We need to make the V though. Oh no, what did I just do? Cancel. Create a loft. <sighs> okay. V created. Zoning that there. Alright, these look the same now, right? Hopefully. Definitely. Okay, front, I mean back. I mean front back. Alright, we're zooming in. Shading test looks like that. Shading looks like that. Look pretty similar. Look pretty similar. Front back side. <laughs> front side, but it's the back side. Look the same. Look the same. Top inspection. Um, these look good. Bottom inspection. Okay, they're, they're looking fine. They're looking fine. Um, for now. <laughs> uh, now we're upside down. Create a filet. 0.5. Done. 
We ate another filet. Right side. Um. Filet. That side. 0.5. Done. All right. After about, uh, no, not about. After an hour, we've created some wings. Pretty mediocre looking wings, but wings nonetheless. Um, look at that. We created wings for our little plane, airfoils. Um, so yeah, look at those wings. Now we just have to build everything else. Um, maybe not the best to build wings first, but I don't know. <laughs> Slowly going crazy. Um, yep. Well, thanks for watching the awesome YouTube video. Bye everyone. <laughs>